Watching the Hawkesbury overflow isn't anything new. The biggest flood we know of was in 1867, when it peaked at nearly 20 metres. But these 100-year floods are now coming more often. And for some, living on the Hawkesbury is beginning to lose its luster. Rowan. Hi, Rachel. How are you? You look like you're still cleaning up. Oh, we are cleaning up. I mean, yeah. It's still very wet, isn't it? It is. Rowan Smith has lived and raised his family on the riverbank for a decade. The river has given us a lot of joy. Mm. We're on the river every day. Mm. But in the last 12 months, we've had three floods. Tell me about the 2021 flood. Well, what happened was um, the water was way above our heads here. The veranda was all underwater. There was a boat shed through here. We totally lost that. But basically, we repaired inside. Mm. We just finished the whole rebuild, then we've hit with the bigger flood. It went actually higher, it went another 800 mil, so approximately wow. this much higher in the house. Mm. And it was within 10 centimetres of going in the top floor, um, and we would have lost everything. How did you feel when you when you came and the water had just stopped short of oh, look, it all, was, that, it all was, that work, <laughs> months and months of work? It was really emotional. Yeah. Um, we got the door. <laughs> and opened it, mm. and, and underneath it was dry. So it was pretty good. <laughs> we were happy. Yeah. <laughs> so it was, it was really good, mm. but um, it, it was really emotional. How did you get your, uh, the van your RV in? Or was so it here when the floods came? We bought the RV because we had to live in it while we rebuilt the house. And still married. Still married. Well done. <laughs> hey, that's, yeah, that's she, impressive. Yeah. I mean, getting through COVID, yeah. that's one thing, but getting through COVID in an RV, yeah. cleaning the literal shit that's out right. of your house, yeah. that's a test. You look out there and you look at the water every day and you go, I don't really want to move. Mm. But when you go through the trauma mm. of the flood, mm. you can't explain it to anybody. And the river, it, it'll it'll come up again. Mm. We'll be flooded again at some stage, and I don't think we could cope with that again. Mm.